Phoebe Buffet. How do you spell that so we can get it right? Oh, okay. It's um, P as in Phoebe, H as in Hebe, O as in Ob, E as in Eb, B as in BB, and E as in Hello there, mate. I remember when I first came to this city. I was 14. My mom had just killed herself, and my stepdad was back in prison. And I got here, and I didn't know anybody. And I ended up living with this albino guy who was, like, cleaning windshields outside Port Authority. And then he killed himself. <laughs> and then I found aromatherapy. So believe me, I know exactly how you feel. <laughs> Hey. 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 Happy Christmas Eve, Eve. You too. Oh, my God. Where did you get this? Uh, Macy's, third floor, home furnishings. This is my father. This is a picture of my dad. <laughs> uh, Phoebe, that's the guy that comes in the frame. No, it isn't. This is my dad. All right, I'll show you. Phoebe, I thought your dad was in prison. No, no, that's my stepdad. My real dad's the one that ran out on us before I was born. OK, look, see? This is him. My mother gave me this picture before she died. Same guy. <laughs> Honey, uh, this is a picture of the frame guy posing in front of a bright blue screen with a collie. It's not a blue screen. It's just, I, maybe it was just really clear that day. OK, I have to talk to my grandmother. <laughs> wait, wait a minute, honey. Please, please. Please. I never had a bike of my own. What? Well, we didn't have a lot of money, you know. But the girl across the street had the best bike. It was pink, and it had rainbow-colored tassels hanging off the handle grips, and, and, and a bell, and this big white wicker basket with those plastic daisies stuck on. Ooh. That sounds like my first bike. <laughs> my dad gave me his old one. <laughs> Did the girl ever let you ride it? No, but she gave me the box that it came in. It had a picture of the bike on the front. So I would sit on it, and my stepdad would drag me around the backyard. That is so unfair. Not really. I got to drag him around, too. <laughs> Ross was mugged as a kid. You were? Yeah. It was pretty traumatic. It was outside St. Mark's Comics. You know, I, I was just there minding my own business, you know, seeing what kind of trouble Spider-Man got into that week. Oh, <coughs> Wonder Woman. <coughs> Anyway, I was heading towards this bakery, you know, to pick up a couple of dozen Linzer torts for someone. <laughs> when out of nowhere, this, this, this thug with a pipe jumps out and says, give me your money, punk. Oh, my God. I know. And the worst part was they took my backpack, which had all the original artwork I had done for my own comic book, Science Boy. <laughs> oh, yeah. What was his superpower again? A superhuman thirst for knowledge. <laughs> well, I, I better get to class. Are there any more of your friends I should look out for on my way, Phoebe? No. Actually, you might want to stay away from Jane Street. That's where Stabby Joe works. <laughs> okay, I think we have a problem here. What? Well, um, back in my mugging days, you know, I, um, I worked St. Mark's Comics. Yeah? Well, a pipe was my weapon of choice, and um, preteen comic book nerds were my meat. <laughs> so? Well, there was this one kid who had a sticker on his backpack that said, Geology, Geology rocks. rocks. <laughs> oh, my God. I know. I mugged Ross. <laughs> Hi, Ursula. Hey. Okay, well, um, I know that we haven't talked in a long time, but, um, okay. Our mom is not our birth mom. This, this other lady is our birth mom. Right, okay, the one that lives in Montauk. <laughs> you know her? No, I, um, I read about her in mom's suicide note. There, there was a suicide note? Well, do you still have it? Hang on. <laughs> You didn't tell me there was a suicide note. Yeah, so how have you been doing? I've... It, shut up! <laughs> Goodbye, Phoebe and Ursula. I'll miss you. P.S. Your mom lives in Montauk. <laughs> you just wrote this! Well, it's pretty much the gist. 
Hey, Joey, when you said the deal with Santa Claus, you meant... That he doesn't exist. Right. Mm. 